that's what's great about sequels. It's the, the party's already started, so there's not as much pressure on you. Just enjoy yourself, have a great time. Jerry Paris, who directed Police Academy 2 and 3, always would say when we were casting, look for the funny bone, and that was it. And uh, it's interesting, you're born, you're born with three bones in your body. You're born with a wishbone, you're born, born with a back, you're born with a backbone, and you better have a funny bone. And the funny bone is what's helped our Police Academy pictures, because that's what you see in virtually every scene. You see funny bone. Said officers did then discharge their weapons with flagrant disregard for public safety. The, the character description was, I think, a supercilient sidekick. And when I finished looking that up, I thought I could play that. Hey, personally, Lieutenant, I hope they fall flat on their asses. That could be arranged, you know. What do you mean? Oh, if they fail, the sod's out. That makes me the captain. If I'm captain, I'm gonna need a new watch commander. So? So, we make sure they fail. Who? New recruits. Why? I always felt I was misunderstood. Yeah, he was. Really, I, you know, I, I wanted to be desperately with the gang and I always had these uh, instructions, and I was simply just trying to carry out my job. That's right. And, and they somehow didn't understand what a good, good guy I was. If they fail to sort us out, I'm in, and I'm gonna need somebody to be the new watch command. But they never let him go. No. They had them in their clutches, right? Yeah. Who? You, dickhead, you. Oh, oh good idea. So really, he was really a, a good guy, but he was just influenced by the wrong people. Proctor was a doobie. You're not playing with a full deck, are you? Oh, I don't play cards. Art Matrano uh, was Captain Mauser. Actually, in New York, when I was a kid, he used to do this bit on Channel 9 where he would do the uh, da 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 He would do these great bits, and I always knew him as that. So when I met him, I was thrilled to work with him. And every rookie will go down on his knee, and there'll be nothing going to throw away. And he played another tough villain who we put glue in his hair and did all these little wacky stunts to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. And he really took it well. And actually, he was the funniest guy because. He would, I think the shower scene, he came out naked, actually, from the shower. <laughs> All right, I'm the, open that door now. Hey, you, I'm not kidding here. His character filled the same function as Captain Harris, really. Um, they were, he was this ambitious, uh, relentless, um, scheming boss. You got him, and you hate him. Look at it over here. Could I have the mirror, please? This is serious. <clears throat> Gotta do something. This is war. We didn't start it, but we are going to finish it. We had good people, and everybody was an individual. Everybody had their own kind of uh, attitude that they took with them, a comic attitude. <laughs> Hooks was a little mousy voiced lion <laughs> who, uh, you know, you, 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 uh, most people underestimated until she was uh, put on the spot and then she showed her true colors, which just blew people's hair back. Hey, what are you doing? I'm calling for assistance. Mahoney's in trouble. Mahoney is suspended. You will do nothing of the kind. But I really hit him, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I told you. Yeah, she wanted uh, a little reality there. 
I remember uh, mm -hmm. for negotiations for the next uh, film, it was brought up and there were, uh, there were no scenes with Marion the next time, <laughs> I know that. No physical scenes anyway. But there is one here now. <laughs> No, he was a, he was a good trooper, and he went. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, I think we just played it, and played it through, and uh, there were there were notes later sent back and forth on the set, lawyers and. Yeah, I think one of the reasons it's proven so popular internationally, domestically, of course, it's always done well, but foreign. The remarkable thing about it is that the comedy translates into every single language. It's very visual comedy. It's, it's kind of slapsticky, and people always respond to slapstick, it seems. The goldfish. The goldfish was a great, great. This fish is boiling. Oh, you want stir fry? Where is he now? Is Who's he still thought? working? The goldfish? Yes. Well, he's retired now. He's retired. <laughs> he's retired. He's in an aquarium for old fish. Old fish, yeah. I heard he got in some trouble uh, early on with... Uh, no, yes. Yeah. Drank too much.